It is now 11.26 a.m. Um, <laughs> good news. Um, I guess all the pieces of news here are good, um, you could say. Um, so the first thing is I finished studying chapter six. So I did the smart book exercise thingy. Um, and then I did the homework assignment that's apparently due on the 31st. I'm not sure why, but I did it. That one. And, um, and then we were supposed to have our class at 11 o'clock and then have a quiz during class at like 12. But it turns out that you actually don't have a class today. <laughs> um, but the professor forgot to tell, tell everybody that there was no class. So everybody showed up to class and then the professor showed up like five minutes late and he's like, oh, whoops, sorry, I, tell you, I forgot to tell you there's no class today. <laughs> but then he told us that um, um, he was going to actually have the quiz be on the weekend instead of during class. So he's going to, he said he was going to make the quiz available at 6 p.m. today um, and it's going to be available until I think Sunday, it says it's until March 28th, so is that Sunday, 26, 27, 20, yeah, that's Sunday, so anyways, it's available until Sunday, but I'm going to take it tomorrow, because I don't want to forget everything I just studied, <laughs> so, and, but at the same time, I don't feel like doing it at 6 p.m., so I'm just going to do it tomorrow, um, so that's nice, so that, now, Today is all we have left is my microeconomics lecture, and it's going to be tempting to not attend the lecture, but it would probably be a good idea. I've just gotten into a habit of just not attending the lecture because I don't know. It's really, really tempting not to. Um, especially considering there's no penalty for attendance or not attending the class. Um, and especially considering that our professor um, gives us uh, announcements by email on a regular basis. So I don't really need to to be in the class to hear those announcements. I can just get them through emails. I mean, this is the honest um, way I look at it at this point in time. Like, it, yeah, it does help to attend the lecture because then I, I, I can learn some of the stuff more efficiently rather than having to look through like the notes to learn stuff. I could just hear it from the professor and learn this stuff that way. But on the other hand, I don't feel like attending the lecture and I could just learn the same stuff by reading notes, honestly, so. Uh, well, there you go. There you go, folks. But anyways, um, I guess that's it for today's vlog, but I, I still haven't... Um, I still haven't uploaded the videos from yesterday yet, so I'm going to have to kind of do a bit of work work to edit the videos and upload them, which is a little bit annoying. Like, it's getting kind of annoying to have to, like, put together all these videos to upload to the homework channel, and that's not the point of the homework channel. The point of it is to help motivate me to do homework. So... I don't know how well it's helping. It hasn't really helped that much, to be honest. Uploading them to the homework channel. Um, I mean, it kind of helps when I do these vlogs. It seems to help me. And also, when I do the live streams themselves. So, like, basically the only purpose... I don't know if there's real, any real purpose to up, uh, uploading the stream the streams, exporting the streams to the YouTube channel other than just as an archive of what happened. But other than that, it's not really, there isn't really much point to doing that. 
but there is definitely a point to the vlogs because the vlogs actually kind of force me to do homework sort of because when I talk about in the vlog I can't just after doing the vlog like if I say I'm gonna do it I'm not gonna lie and say I'm gonna do it and I don't do it right so I guess it's still beneficial and I mean exporting the video from Twitch to YouTube is actually extremely easy it only I, all I have to do is click on the stream go to the content tab and then click on the stream and click export but then I have to type the title <laughs> I mean it's not that much work. it only takes like a, a minute or two minutes to do but then uploading the vlogs actually takes some time because I have to transfer all the videos to my computer and then I have to put them into Windows Movie Maker and then I have to wait for it to set up the file to be edited and then I have to make sure all the clips are in the correct order and then I have to save the movie and that takes some time it takes like a significant amount of time waiting and then I have to upload it to YouTube which also takes a significant amount of time so it's kind of a long process of making these videos and that's without even editing that's that's without editing stuff like imagine if imagine if these vlogs were edited down to be more, like more entertaining or something that would take even longer like I can't even imagine how how pe youtubers can like edit their videos so much like how long do they spend editing it's got to take so many hours of editing unless they have fast ways of editing like if they have a advanced editing software and they have all these keyboard shortcuts to edit I maybe it's faster I wish I could learn how to edit more effectively like that would be a good college class like college classes that I would be interested in would be a class on how to edit videos a class on how to compose music maybe I don't know like a music composition class would be cool a music uh, an analysis class but uh, I don't know if those exist like do those classes exist because I don't know if they exist in the way that I want them to I've gotten off track here so anyways I'm just gonna make those videos I guess let's see what's the next thing we have to do well of course I'm not gonna be motivated to do anything else today because there's nothing else to do today even though I should be doing some more stuff today because it's good to get a head start on homework and days in advance of when it's due so that you're not stressed out. But if I was to start working on stuff on ahead of time, what I would do is I would um, probably first write my discussion post for business communication. And apparently that only took me 38 minutes last time. So if it only takes 38 minutes, how long can it possibly take? And then when I was done with, when I'm done with that, I would read through the, or not read through the microeconomics assignment, but I would start working on it. Obviously, I would just start working on it. But since I have all weekend to work on it, I mean, it seems logical that I would just do it over the weekend. <laughs> But the more logical thing to do is to get it over with before the weekend so that over the weekend I can do whatever I want without having to worry about homework. Gosh dang it. <laughs> I don't even know. Why am I even making this vlog? I guess it's just to update what I talked about this morning. Did I talk about something this morning? Did I even make a vlog this morning? I can't remember. Did, did I make a vlog this morning? I feel like I may not have, but I thought I did, but I didn't. Um, okay, uh, bye.